So good morning, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Sennonite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and today I'm coming to you from Champaign, Illinois, at CERL, the Construction Engineer Research Lab. CERL is one of the seven big labor laboratories in Erdick. Uh, we hope to get around to see all of them, but this is the one that really supports our military missions and our troop units to be able to take care of us, both our installations in America, but also when we're deployed out around the world. Today, I'm very, very proud to be with Ilker Dietzeg Gazelle, our PhD, our director. Um, Ilker, can you say a little bit about what your lab does? Sure, yes, sir. We are the DOD's lab for installations. We make sure that our power projection platforms are sustained. In other words, we support the installation readiness as well as supporting the uh, access to the training lands so that our soldiers can conduct military, uh, realistic training without being constrained by the threatened and endangered species and other factors. In other words, what we do is that we take the installations as a whole, support for our both the facilities, conditions, and the training land availability. And that's really important because land is getting to be a premium and so what this laboratory does is really take care of our, our war fighters and to be able to be the technical knowledge to be able to support our army. One of the things that's really exciting to me today is to talk to Mike Case and some of the things that he's done with like a 3D printer capability to build us some structures in a deployed environment. Mike, tell the audience a little bit about what you're trying to do here with your ACES program. Yes sir, thank you. The goal of the ACES project is to be able to print customized concrete structures in the field on demand using locally available materials. Doing this would give the commander another tool in their toolbox to print whatever shelters or structures that they need in the field. And we can do this saving quite a bit of manpower. These are people we don't have to feed, shelter, or uh, protect. Also, we could bring fewer materials into theater. And in the case of buildings, they uh, will be uh, much more energy efficient and so we don't have to bring as much fuel in for generators and we don't have to uh, run as many convoys which makes our people safer. So we don't have the time to show you all this today but what, what Mike and his team have done have actually built a uh, capability to be able to be deployed in the theater theoretically on an airplane like a great big printer they could set up and they could actually build a building uh, very similar to something I'll show you behind us here where using locally uh, materials able to be able to take care of our troops. Mike, real quick, just kind of explain what is this? I know it's just a prototype, but what, what are you trying to um, prototype here and test? Yes, sir. Well, the end goal is to print a bee hut, which is about a 500 square foot building. This is what we call a guard shack. It's an entry control point. And we did this to test whether we could build up to eight feet high. This is about six feet by six feet. Uh, the other thing we're printing, you see in front of us some bees. These are about 16 feet long, and we're testing these to see if they'll be strong enough to make roofing structures. So we can print all kinds of things. The Marine Corps has come and asked us to print some jersey barriers for blast protection. Uh, they're also looking at culverts. Anything you can kind of design digitally, you can print in the field using concrete. So my message to all you in the court today, there's about 30 people standing behind the camera that are wizards in how to support the Army and DOD in the high-end technology. Right here from the University of Illinois and supporting this laboratory. But if you've got a requirement out there, call Searle, call the doctor, figure out how we can continue to be able to lean on and leverage the outstanding proficiency we have. The core is all about delivering. We've got to be able to make sure that we're getting the best and the brightest. And Mike, what I'm seeing here is some unbelievable stuff. Even some of this is wrapped in plastic because they can't show you what they've got. But I'm telling you, the cutting edge of where Erdick and Searle are being able to continue to deliver for our Army and for DOD. So Mike, great job. And uh, Ilker, I'm awful glad to be here. So from uh, Champlain, Illinois, 54th Chief of Engineers, on the road again. Good luck.